GardeningFever.com Knocking back pests in the yard has never been an easy task. It's more of a never-ending battle with the armies of pests and bugs. In this video, we will present to you a list of the best all-natural and organic DIY pest control recipes for your garden. This will help you have natural control of pests without altering the ecosystems. Before getting started please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button. If you're a gardener, I bet you understand that there is nothing like having a home garden. It's an incredibly humbling experience that makes you appreciate the everyday tribulations and trials that farmers who produce the food we eat go through. You have to be patient and avoid all the quick fix harmful solutions. The conventional chemicals filled fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides may do the job but are all potentially dangerous to the local garden ecosystem. Okay, now let us present to you our hand-picked natural and homemade pesticides that could save your day. To many of us, neem is just an evergreen plant with vegetable oil that is derived from its seeds and fruits. However, to the ancient Indian community, Neem oil is highly revered as a powerful plant, used to ward off pests from the garden. In fact, it's one of the most potent natural pesticides, we have in our world today. Neem oil is capable of disrupting insects, that attack your garden during any of stage of their life cycles. Neem primarily works as a hormone disruptor as well as an anti-feed, for insects that majorly feed on plant leaves. And the best part about using neem oil as a pesticide is that, it is non-toxic and biodegradable. Therefore, it has no effects on fish, birds, and pets. For best results from your neem oil recipe, ensure that you follow the following steps keenly. Add half an ounce of neem oil, preferably high quality organic type. Then add half teaspoon of mild natural soap to the neem oil and mix. Add two quarts of warm water to the mixture. Stir the mixture thoroughly, then pour it into a spray bottle. Ensure that you use the mixture immediately. Avoid using the oil sprays. On any plants that seem to have some kind of moisture, stress as well as during very hot days. Garlic Spray Garlic is a vegetable known for its strong pungent smell, therefore in ancient times, it was used in a wide variety of ways. However, the scent may be delectable or repellent to others, and it's for this reason, that it is a great natural insecticide. Although to most people it's not yet clear if garlic spray is a repellent or just a natural pesticide, the bottom line is, the vegetable can knock out a few insects in your home garden. This may be the wire worms, beetles, whiteflies, aphids, caterpillars, ants, cabbage worms, mites and much more. Also, besides keeping the pests away, garlic kills most of the bacteria and fungus on your plants. For best results, Here's how you should use your garlic as a homemade pesticide. Crush, mince or grate about 3.5 ounces of garlic. Mix the garlic into about 5 liters of water. Then add 5 ounces of mild organic, biodegradable soap. Using a strainer, strain the mixture. Add 5 liters of water to dilute the mixture, then put it in a spray bottle. Use immediately for best results. However, you should avoid using this mixture on a sunny day. This is because the oils in the spray may lead to foliage burns. Eucalyptus is one of the best essential oils that can be used to ward off pests from your garden. It is a great natural pesticide, especially if your farm is infested with wasps, flies, and bees too. To apply the eucalyptus oil, you simply need to add a few drops on the plant parts, where you can see the pests. And before you know it, they will all be gone. The Epsom salt is a mineral compound, that consists of sulfates and magnesium. For years now, this mineral compound has been used to get rid of pests from the garden. You can sprinkle the salts on plant leaves, to keep off other pests like deer, rabbits, and groundhogs too. However, if you would like to make an Epsom salt spray, here's how. Add 2 tablespoons of the salt to 1 gallon of water. Mix the two thoroughly. Pour the mixture into your spray bottle. 
tobacco is a harmful substance to the human health, and the same adverse effects on the pests too. Therefore, tobacco makes a great homemade pesticide, that can be used to kill aphids, caterpillar, and other insects. To make the tobacco spray you should Take one cup of organic and all natural tobacco brand, and mix it with one gallon of water. Leave the mixture overnight to set. Check the mixture after 24 hours. It should have acquired a light brown color. If the mixture is still too dark, consider adding more water to the mixture. Strain the mixture using a strainer, then put it in your spray bottle. Use the mixture on any plants of your preference. This is an effective organic pest control pesticide, that effectively kills mites and aphids in your garden. This is because the tomato leaves contain alkaloids, which are fatal to most of the insects. To make the spray, you need to Crush the tomato leaves, then soak them in water for days. Strain the mixture when it's ready, then add to your spray bottle. This homemade pesticide recipe is great for white flies and grasshoppers control. However, you need to handle the tomato leaves with care. They are poisonous and should not be used on the food-bearing plants. This is an effective homemade pesticide, that takes out a wide variety of garden pests. This includes, mites, thrips, scale, mites among others. This is an easy organic pest control method that is made from mixing one tablespoon of dishwashing soap with one gallon of water. The mixture is then sprayed on the affected areas. It works by dissolving the exoskeleton of the insects, before eventually killing them. To read more about best organic pest control recipes read our article 13 organic pest control recipes. The link is mentioned in description of this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon next to the subscriber button. You will be notified about our future videos.